Yo, Cyberpunk 2077 is under fire again. This time not over augmentation and billboards, but because of racial overtones, what's going on here? Man, let's talk about this straight up. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Hey, yo, can you do me a huge favor? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, if you haven't already. That way you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I'm not too proud to ask. And yo, you see it on your screen. My Twitch channel. The biggest project today for your boy, MM2K, is coming near, and you don't want to miss it. After this video's, video is over, go over there and sign up immediately. Immediately. All right, let's get into this one. Yo, here's the issue. If you haven't heard it already, Rock, Paper, Scissors, a publication out of UK, has sent its writer, Matt Cox, over to E3 2019. And while he was there, he got a chance to watch the closed door Cyberpunk 2077 E3 demo. After coming out of it, people were clapping and cheering and happy and all this other stuff, including your boy uh, Pierce Lilly from Gamer Tag Radio. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was excited. They liked what they seen even further, even more so than last year. But not your boy Matt Cox. Matt Cox was having none of that. He didn't like it. It even got to the point to where when he got back, he wrote an article and said that he didn't like the gameplay but more importantly, he thought that Cyberpunk 2077 had some serious racial overtones. Did that were a problem? In response, the creator of the Cyberpunk 20, uh, the Cyberpunk uh, uh, universe, his name is Mike Pondsmith. He went on social media to clarify that the racial overtones that Cox felt were in the game didn't exist. That he don't know where this came from, but he wanted to clarify and clean the air so there wouldn't be all this hoopla about it. However, the co-founder of Rock, Paper, Scissors himself, John Walker, doubled down on the article that Mike Camp wrote and basically told uh, the creator, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Pond Smith, that, hey, you should be ashamed of these overtones in here. <laughs> you know, here's the problem with all this if you don't understand what's going on, okay? Rock, Paper, Scissors apparently didn't do their homework. Because the homeboy, Mike Pondsmith, he's African-American. And the problem that they had in the game was this group particularly called the Animals. The group called the Animals, he felt like that it was a reference to black people and calling black people animals. But meanwhile, if, if my memory is serving me right, the leader of the Animals is someone named Sasquatch, and she's uh, Caucasian, okay? So apparently Rock, Paper, Scissors didn't do their homework before they wrote the article. Now, after discovering all these revelations that Mr. Mike Pondsmith is African-American, because I can bet you they didn't know that at first, and the fact that the animals is led by a fictitious Caucasian person by the name of Sasquatch. Again, I, and I could be wrong, but from what I understand, that's the name. But the, the fact of the matter is the leader of the group is, is a Caucasian individual, okay? After discovering this, instead of, you know, reevaluating their claim, they doubled down on it. And that's when your boy John Walker went to Michael Pondsmith and said, you know what? As an African-American still, you should be ashamed of the revelations here. The, 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 the world, that the fictitious world that you created that's coming to, uh, uh, you know, the fruition should make you angry and upset and you should campaign and pick it against your own imagination. Man, I can't make this stuff up anymore, man. This is a strange, strange world. You know what I'm saying? But here's the fact of the matter of all this silly, stupid stuff. This was pure clickbait, okay? It was. And MM2K starts in the totality is this is just the remnants. This is just the, the, the aftermath, rather, of when people want attention you know what i'm saying and they don't really have a sustainable thing to go by you just find things to get mad at right and 
what people am I talking about? Not just rock, paper, scissors, but I was looking online and you had a plethora of people saying silly stuff like Mike Pondsmith didn't know that the animals were created. If he had known, he would have rejected it. This is coming from his universe. He created all this stuff. And people still want him to be mad at his imagination. I mean, here's the problem. We have a group that I like to call the Idiot Herd. Homeboy, Paris Lilly over at Gamer Tag Radio. I think he did a wonderful job as tagging them also as the outrage culture. They Now these people spread all race, creed, religious, political views, all that stuff, okay? Cause you had some of the Idiot Herd slash outrage culture mad at Cyberpunk 2077 because it had a picture of a transsexual individual you know what I'm saying on the building look man this is a fictitious world based upon augmentation none of this stuff should be surprising man it's a gritty game it looks like it's gonna be maybe the, a, a game changer as far as gaming is concerned but here's the thing we live in a reality now where everybody wants to be relevant I've seen this coming a lot of y'all don't, it's like, what are you talking about? Because y'all were born into this, this social media world. It all started with people like Puffy posting their sandwiches on, on social media. And now we're growing to this constant 24-7 revolving door of, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. It's all about me, 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 me. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't particularly understand what was going on, Matt Cox, because I'm not, see a lot of people want to say that Matt Cox should have wrote the article and give him a clear and it was the, the dude at Rock, Paper, Scissors, the, the, the co-creator that's at fault here. No, I'm not giving Matt Cox a ride on this, all right? Pause. You know what I'm saying? I'm not giving Matt a ride. I'm, you know what I'm saying? They're all to blame. Because as a journalist, if you want to sit there and fly, like I said, people want to go to E3 and shout and holler to the sky because they going sightseeing. But at the end of the day, the information that you're bringing back to me is more prevalent, more relevant than anything. So if you're going to sit there and feel that there's these racial overtones and something, do your due diligence. Do your research. Did you talk to CD Projekt Red or did you see something? Say, you know what? We can get a lot of clicks off of this. I know how I can work this angle and run back to your homeboy, John Walker. That's what it felt like to me. And John Walker was like, yo, we get we getting these clicks on this, baby. Revenue money's going up, baby. We, we ain't backing down from However this falls out, is going to work for us. But I think in the long run, it's going to hurt them more than anything. For all the clicks that they got off of this, I think it's, it's going to do long-term damage to their publication to where they're not going to get future clicks that much on anything else. But here's the thing, man. If certain types of things bother you, guess what? Just don't buy it. Before crying foul, do some due diligence, okay? Had this been done, had this been done, your boy in them 2K wouldn't even have nothing to be fussing about. <laughs> and know that everything in this world is not designed for you. With a plethora, of, with a plethora of options out here, if you don't like something, guess what? We got a place for you. It's called Saint Elsewhere. Go elsewhere. Come on, stop the silliness. Idiot herd, outrage culture. I'm getting sick of it. And y'all probably looking at your boy in with 2K. Well, you, you do that. Da, da, da. You do that all the time, talking about Phil. Look, no, no, here's the thing. I did my due diligence. I've been Larry and Phil Spencer of Windows Gaming since 2017. I've been, I, I had little videos here and there. This E3 at 2019 solidified everything for me. I laid all the cards out on the table. Did my due diligence, looked at all the pieces of information, followed the pattern, and came to the conclusion and the realization and, reckon, and, and recognizing that Phil is not catering to me and he's trying to pull an okie doke. Took me two, two and a half years to come to that conclusion. I did my due diligence. I didn't just walk into something, saw a bad E3 in 2017, and start going eight, eight nuts. You know what I'm saying? So. It, 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 you, you talk about apples and oranges here. But with that being said, again, please understand. You don't like something, go somewhere else. Or do you due diligence if you think there's smoke, okay? And with that said, that's it from your boy, MM2K. Hey, you know what? 
That's what I had to think. But at the end of the day, who cares what I think? Let me know what you think in the comment section below, all right? And if you did like what I had to say or what I had to think, you can catch me on the corner every boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples, all right? Snow Bunny, Neethos, my homie Dirk Griggity. It's called Scram Punk. We're running on Dirk Griggity's channel. You know what I'm saying? We Currently, we're doing it up Wednesdays, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is subject to change. Just look up hashtag Scram Punks for more information. And last but not least, follow my brethren, the broadband bullies. We out here doing the damn thing. Check out that Discord link. It's pop. Check out our Patreon link because we need your support to keep it rolling. You know what I'm saying? Can't do this without you. And lastly, check out that gear because it's fly. And as always, as always, stay out of the idiot herd. Ignore the outrage culture. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.